All right, good afternoon. Welcome back to uh, today's uh, video. Today, I'm going to be letting you know about what exactly is a bifacial panel. Now, as you can see, we have five bifacial solar panels here for this installation. Uh, now, a bifacial solar panel, simply put, is a kind of solar panel that has cells, both at the front and also at the back. You can see behind the panel, this is the back of one of the panels. You can see how it is made. So, it's more like a replication of whatever you have at the front experts say that biofacial panels they are able to produce energy both from the front and also when sun gets to the panels from the front of the panel produce energy and the reflection of the sun also goes to this side of the panel and it also produces more energy to support the charging and they say that these kind of panels they do well when they're installed in carports conditions when you store them on the carport you'll be able to get the best from these kind of panels but when you put them on the roof you get to lose that advantage of producing extra power five to about twenty percent extra power when it's placed on the roof because it's not meant to be placed on the rooftop rooftop installations you should also always get the normal monofacial panels for rooftop installations now, most times when install, you see a lot of installers, when they buy by facial panels to install on the roof, it all boils down to one thing. It's the fact that at the time they wanted to do the installation, they couldn't get the monofacial panel for the rooftop installation. Probably it's just the by facial panels that are available at that point. So they had to buy the by facial panels. They didn't have to wait for a long time to get the panels because the monofacial panels, they are always very scarce in the market. So when they get supplies in a week or two, everything is bought. But when you have these by facial, they always have by facial panels in store. You understand? So that's why when you go to a shop now, you ask for by facial panels, they are always available. So when you need monofacial and they tell you by facial is available, you just have to go for it. So most times when you see installers going for by facial panels to put on the roof, it's not because they don't know that it's not meant for rooftop installations. It's just because 80% of the times it's the fact that they couldn't get the monofacia at the point they went to the market to get the monofacia. All right. And again, before you use bifacial panels, you need to understand that they are heavier and you need to make sure the roof is strong enough to withstand the weight, the extra weight that is going to mount a lot of pressure on the roof. So if your roof is not strong and you are thinking of going for monofacia initially, so you better change your mind to make sure you wait once you get the monofacial because those ones are lighter. The official panels are heavier. So when you put these ones on your roof, the impact, the stress on the roof per area is very, very much. It's too much compared to that of the monofacial. So that's for that. Now, I've been able to establish that monofacial panels are best used for rooftop installations while biofacial panels are best used for carport installations because the reflection from the sun makes them to produce energy from both the front and also the back because we have cells on either side of the panel. One more point. One more point. Even if you must use them for rooftop installations, you need to make sure if you've not installed your roofing sheets yet, try to use lighter colors of roofing sheets like the white and the off white. If you use black, black absorbs heat. But lighter colors of roofing sheets reflect more than these darker colors. But even at that, the percentage of extra energy that you're supposed to get will not be as, as much as if you have it on the carport. But it will still help a bit to, to save some energy because these lighter colors of roofing sheets they reflect more than the darker colors. And again, the concerns that I have or the concerns that are normally raised is the fact that uh, bifacial panels, when you use them for rooftop installations, doesn't mean that you don't only lose the extra power you're supposed to get, but you don't get the full capacity of the panel because you have used them for rooftop installation. Now, the question is, if this is a 600 watt solar panel, how many watts or how many percentage of that total energy is attributed to the front and how many percentage is attributed to the back or do we just say the front alone is 600 watts they have maybe extra 20 percent or 30 percent 
at the back when you use them in the right conditions? Or is the fact that the total panel, both front and back, is equal to 600 watts? And you use them for rooftop, you already lose some percentage of the total energy. Is that the case? There's only one way to find that, and that is to bring down the panel. We are going to assume that the maximum current, the IMP, is true for all cases. The IMP we have here is 13.58 um, amps. 13 point, come on, check. Come on, come on, show them. 13.58 amps. I don't know if you can see it properly. Okay, so 30.58 amps. So, and then I will measure the VOC with the back facing the sun. And I also measure the VOC the other way around. Then we we'll do the calculation. Then we we'll see whether or not it's the total power that is attributed to the phones. But we have extra in case you use them for the right conditions or they are both sharing the power. So let's see. So I'm going to test just one because we don't have time. We need to start our installation now. So I'll fold this one to the ground completely. This is a Jinko solar panel. The terminals are very long, more than a yard. So let's measure the voltage. <laughs> VOC. I'm also going to use VOC. I'm supposed to use VMP, but because there's no load, I can't get VMP without a load. Okay, I'm having 43. The front, 43 volts. Come and show them. Now, 43 volts multiplied by 13.58 is what? For 3, let's say 43.9. Okay, 44. An average of 44 times 13.58. That's about 597 watts. By the way, this pan is rated 585 watts. So we're having 597 from the front. So let's see the voltage we are going to get for the back. So this has already proven the fact that all the power is attributed to the, to the phones. The one you get from the back is just extra. So let's see what we are getting from the back. However, so we can get up to 30 volts. I'm about to catch them whether they've been lying to us now. All right. Okay, come and see. Come and show them. We are going to have even more. 43 votes. From the back. 43 votes. From the back. You get? So, when you use these panels in the right conditions, if you're having one of them as 597 watts, if you use them in the right condition, you can have up to 50% extra power from these bifacial panels. But they have to be used for carport installations so you can see that the voltage is for the three volts almost in fact the same thing even more than what you have at the front but if it's your normal monofacial panel the moment you light the face down like this what you get you get not uh, next to zero around maybe 10 20 20 volts so you can see that it truly works so both the front and the back gives you somewhat the same voltage voc but then again when it's under load conditions and under the right conditions probably it's just based on because of losses it will add it not add up to this amount to the total wattage probably it's add just about 20 to 30 percent and assist to make sure you have a um, better charging system for your setup so 
that is it for today's test and uh, let let me even do the short circuit test and see what i will get from the back so the current let's see okay i'm having one amp okay the current when it's facing the sun at the back is one amp all right just about one amp although the sun has gone down a bit but so 1.85 amps so we're having 46 so let's multiply 46 times 1.85 that's about times that's about 85 watts extra so let's take to the phone and see what the shosaki current gives us so we have to balance it for both front and back so you to probably give us more i guess so but let's see Okay, we're having three. Okay, we're having more. 2.4, 2.5. Okay, essentially three amps. Okay, so if you multiply three by the same VOC, let's see what we get. So we had 85 before. So let's see 46 times three. 138 watts. So 138 plus. 85 we're having 200 watts and there's no sun if there's sun you have more current how up to 10 amps so we multiply 10 by 46 that's 460 so when at the back maybe we're having five or six or four you understand so it we make sure the wattage gets to an appreciable level even at the lowest sun time so that's all for today's test and uh, i hope you've learned a thing or two uh, this just substantiates the fact that by facial panels they do well. Yeah, both the front and the back, they give good readings. And when you use them in the right conditions, you get more power for your system. Yeah, don't opt for by facial when you are going to use them on the roof. Opt for monofacial. They produce well. They produce. They do better. Because, and they're even lighter. They are more suitable for rooftops. But in the case you don't have monofacial, you can go for the by facial just because of the fact that you couldn't get monofacial. Yeah, so that's for that. Thank you. Make sure you keep subscribing to the channel, like the channel, and also share the video. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.